All right, so here uh, we are running our cars. So that uh, green one that just crashed, that's a USGT setup. That's uh, my buddy Gary's. That short course that just passed, that's actually a Red Cat. Uh, they're kind of cool, uh, inexpensive, uh, not a race truck, but to be honest, for the price, they're very good. Uh, those two little tiny trucks there, those things are amazing. They run about $120. It's the Traxxas Latrax pre-runner. So both of those pre-runners were doing very, very well uh, on a basketball surface, such as this one. Uh, they don't traction roll. They're actually pretty good. The only times you generally see them roll are if we hit... Uh, well, like right there, you saw that we clipped one of the apex. So if you hit something, it'll tip the truck over. Uh, but that's really the only time they they roll over on basketball courts. Those uh, pre-runners are very good. And I do recommend them, mainly because you can do off-road. They are all-wheel drive, so four-wheel drive. Uh, and you can race them on a basketball court, so you can do on-road and off-road with them. Now, there is another car here. Let's see. Oh, actually, no, uh, those are all. Uh, oh, yeah, there it is. That one right there, it just turned and spun out. Uh, that's a Team Associated TC. Uh, it's an old model, but even those old models do very, very well. So, if you're just getting into the hobby, you don't have to buy the latest and the greatest. You can actually buy a model that was built 5, 10, 15 years ago. And again, it's not going to be the latest, but here's the thing. If you're just getting into the hobby, that's a great way to get something that's uh, quality. For example, Team Associated TC. Team Associated is known for quality. And you can still keep up now. Uh, even with that one. So you can save a good portion of your money, get a used vehicle, such as that uh, uh, T4, and just start learning how to wrench, start learning how to set up a vehicle for different track conditions. Uh, here we have a small little touring car. That's a little fun one too. So really it just depends and a lot of people want something, you know, an RC that is massive. The reality is it depends on the amount of space that you have. For example, here on this basketball court, something that is massive isn't very good. It's not very fun. Uh, I know I just said that, that T4 is a great buy. It is, but to be honest, for something larger, it's a little, just a little too big for a basketball court. Uh, 110 scale cars are a little too big. Uh, in, a, at, in a different video, uh, we drove our USGT setup. Uh, well, Gary and I did. And those USGT 110 scales were both running a Yokomo BD10. They're too big. Uh, they're too big for a basketball court. So really, the Latrax, Latrax is a perfect size. Uh, and you can get a Latrax uh, short course, such as this pre-runner. You can also get uh, the Teton, which is sort of a, like a monster truck Latrax. And they also have the Rally version. Uh, none of us had the Rally, uh, a Rally with us, but uh, rallies would probably be perfect here. Although, I'll be honest, those uh, pre-runners did very, very well. And as... Uh, as I mentioned before, uh, a Trax vehicle is only about $120. A Red Cat you can get well under $200. And if you think about it, a uh, roll of tape might cost you $5, and you're not going to use the entire roll of tape. And the load straps, many people already have them, so a lot of you probably already have them. If not, you can go to the Home Depot, you can go to Lowe's, you can go to Ace Hardware, and you can probably get four long straps for about 10 or 15 dollars sometimes they have sales depending on the time of year uh, so let's just say you spend 20 
to $40 uh, pre-tax uh, 2030 even 40 just buying some of those load straps depending on how many you buy and then you just set them now the pylons that's a different story if you already have them you have them but you, know, you can purchase some 